Hello everyone. Welcome to the series on dental trauma. Today we will discuss about root fracture. Basically, root fracture involves fracture of the cementum, dentine and pulp. It may be a horizontal fracture or it may present as an oblique fracture. Also, the fracture line may be present in the apical third, middle third or coronal third of the root. The location being an important factor in the prognosis of root fracture. Now before discussing the management, it is important to know about the pulp and periodontal reactions that follow root fracture. Usually, root resorption is detected within one year after injury and precedes fracture healing. The root resorption present in three different forms, external surface resorption, characterized by rounding of the fracture edges at the periodontal side, internal surface resorption, characterized by rounding of the fracture edges centrally at the pulpal side, and internal tunneling resorption, characterized by resorption behind the predentine layer along the root canal walls of the coronal fragment. Now coming to the healing of root fracture, it may occur with formation of calcified tissue, interposition of connective tissue, interposition of both calcified and connective tissue or interposition of granulation tissue. So in most cases, the root fracture is self-limiting and requires minimal management. The management basically involves repositioning of the coronal fragment and confirming it with a radiograph followed by stabilization with a firm and immobile splint that is passively applied. The fractured tooth should be stabilized for 4 weeks in case of middle and apical third fractures and for 4 months in case of cervical third fractures. The endodontic treatment should not be started immediately. It will depend on the pulp and periodontal reactions observed during follow-up appointments. It is indicated in case of pulp necrosis and external inflammatory resorption. The point to note here is that in case of mature teeth with cervical fracture line located close to the alveolar crest and highly mobile coronal fragment, it is recommended to remove the coronal fragment followed by root canal treatment and restoration. The other treatment options include orthodontic or surgical extrusion of the apical fragment, crown lengthening surgery and extraction. These are similar to crown root fracture. That's all about root fracture. In the next video, we will discuss about luxation injuries. Till then, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can download our app for more details and notes on dental and medical topics.